Hey everyone, this is Videoboy and welcome to Archipelago Devlog number 36. So this week I added entity loading into the game, just like I said. So it's mostly a server side thing, So, and it was pretty easy too. And uh, most of the stuff that I needed to uh, add were already in the game really. So it was fairly easy to do. So now as you can see in the map JSON file, there's an array for entities to load into the map when the map loads. So eventually this will be used to load doors that teleport players to other maps, or entity spawners, and much more. So there probably won't be any loading of enemies directly into the map, but instead they will load enemy spawners to keep the enemies coming, because if we load them directly, once the enemy is dead, the map will have to reload to spawn them again, and that would require the, all the players on the map to leave it and come back. So it doesn't really make too much sense. There are some instances where we would use this though, such as like dungeon rooms, where you only want the enemies to spawn once, and then if they go back in the room they'll respawn. So to demonstrate entity loading, I added the teleporter entity. So right now I'm using my placeholder art from the old archipelago, but once you get the new art it'll look great. Also as you may see, when you are teleported there is a lurping effect. Uh, by the way, bonus points for whoever knows what lurping is. Uh, and uh, this was added as kind of like a surprise when I made the camera class, uh, the game camera. I completely forgot that I added lurping. So um, now when entities get teleported, it does a nice effect where the camera kind of moves over to the player. Another thing you obviously notice is the inclusion of the new art for the map elements. So since I already made the map element loader, it's very easy to add them in with the new hitbox system and everything. So the hitboxes on the bushes were great, same for the trees. And also my personal favorite addition is the smithy. It's like a the smith house. Uh, so even the pole has a hitbox. It's kind of cool. You can even walk inside the door in the house. And uh, you can even walk behind it. So eventually we'll add a door teleporter that will teleport you inside the house. With a little animation of it opening and closing. So I also want to talk a little bit about the HTML version. So I found a new great networking library that will allow me to use the HTML version successfully without having to go through too much trouble. So I'm just waiting for the library to update. I'm in contact with the developer of it. It's designed for libgdx, which is awesome. And hopefully it'll work on iOS also. Uh, so the update should be out pretty soon and then I'll have the HTML version working. Okay, so this brings me to the goals for this week. So some of you may have noticed that I changed the schedule for this week a little bit. But don't worry, we're still scheduled to release this update by May 29th. I decided to change it so that this week I'll have a little bit of time to work on some more of the behind the scenes stuff for Archipelago. So I'll be fixing some bugs, doing a few quick performance tweaks, nothing major, and a few other things. I put a to-do list for this week on the GitHub, so you guys can follow it real time to see what I added and what's left to do this week. Now the map editor update will be the week after instead. And I'll mostly be focusing on adding compatibility for the new version of Archipelago to it and also cleaning up the code to be released on GitHub because it's kind of bad right now, the code. I did it a little bit rushed and it just doesn't look very good. And by the way, the reason why I'm telling you guys the goals for the next two weeks is because I won't be able to do a devlog next weekend or a tutorial for that matter, uh, but I'll do it the weekend after. But either way, there won't be much to talk about after this week since I'm just doing bug fixes and a couple things like that. But when we come back in two weeks, we'll have a lot to talk about. Anyways, that ends this devlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And if you're new, please subscribe. It helps a lot. And also, in my tutorial video, I uh, asked you guys to leave a like if you want me to continue doing the tutorial series uh, full-fledged like I'm doing now once a week. Otherwise, I might just postpone it a little bit. I want your guys' opinion to know um, whether I should focus uh, more on Archipelago or still do the tutorials. Uh, anyways, yep, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in two weeks. So, goodbye.